In this video, let's show that variance of x plus y equal variance of x plus variance of y plus 2 times the covariance of x and y. First, let's start with the definition of the variance of x. In place of x, let's plug x plus y. In place of this x, we plug x plus y. Here, we subtract the mean of x. And now here, we have to update. We have to subtract the mean of x and subtract the mean of y. Let's reorder the terms to get the deviation of x and the deviation of y. Now, let's square what is inside the parents. We square this first term, that's here, and we square the second term, that's here. And then, 2 times the first term, times the second term. And this is the result. Now, we have to take the expectation of all terms. See the expectation here, here, and here, because 2 we treat as a constant. This first term here is the variance of x. This second term here is the variance of y. And this term here is the definition of covariance of x and y. See that the variance is always a positive measure, it's a square. But the covariance can be negative. If you buy stocks and gold, that usually it's considered negative related, the risk of your portfolio decreases. But if you buy two stocks that usually is correlated, like Microsoft and Apple, the risk of your portfolio increases. This equation are telling you if you want to minimize risk, you want to this covariance here negative. That means you want to buy negative correlate assets. In many statistical tests, you see only these two terms here and y, because the test assumes that x and y are independent, then this term here vanish because if x and y are independent, covariance equals zero.